Got one. Yes. Stay down. Feels like a good fish. Oh my God, this feels like a good fish. Oh my God, guys, guess who's back? Oh man, it's been so long since I've fished. It's been so long since I've been here with you. I've always like forgotten how to do intros to videos. <sighs> since the last time you saw me, I busted my favorite combo. Now while that is out and Luz is taking care of me, I decided to go ahead and treat myself. You know, I'm a boss bitch. I'm a fancy bitch. I deserve some good equipment. So I went out and bought a new Luz custom speed spool and oh my obviously i'm gonna get a new rod to go with this reel don't you worry about that but today we're just gonna be throwing this new reel around see how it works i know it's gonna be butter and you hate to see that people have just come back here and wrecked this place so much trash i don't know if it's a dump i don't know if people are hanging out back here or what but that sucks Anyway, what we're doing today is we're showing off the new Custom XP. Get yourself a good look at that Luz Custom XP in black and white. Man, it looks good. It feels good. Breaks up pretty high. Oh, casts a mile, even with the brakes up all the way. Butter, yo. Love that sound. Our water levels are actually back up. You've seen me fish this pond before on this channel and that tree over there was way more exposed. It looks like we're up a foot of water at least and by God, we needed it here in the South. If you're fishing anywhere in the South, you know how much of a drought we've been in. I don't know if the North has been in a drought this season but the South has been in a major, major drought. And obviously this water is really muddy because it's been getting so much rain. God, this reel with 14 pound fluorocarbon just casts like money. It's so smooth. Now I was lucky enough to pick up this reel for $80. Normally retails for 120. And my local Cabela's was out. They put it on sale for like $65, which is an insane sale price. Shout out to Cabela's and Bass Pro. But they were out. They were completely sold out within just a couple of days of putting this thing on sale. I understand why. I understand why. It's a money reel. They didn't know if they were going to get any back in stock anytime soon. They said, go ahead and call around all the other Cabela's and the Bass Pro shops in the area and see if they won't ship you one. And so I called up to Bass Pro in Concord, North Carolina, Charlotte, and they were like, yeah, we'll take care of you, bro. So shout out to them for taking good care of me. This goes back to the part where I was talking about blowing up my reel. The valuable lesson that your boy Diesel does fishing learned from that experience was it's way better to lose a $5 lure than it is to blow up a $50 reel. So if you're stuck, let it go. It's okay, it's okay. You can replace a $5 lure. I promise it is way more expensive to replace a $50 reel. We had to make a switch over to a different pond, same property, same golf course, different pond. We were not getting any production over at that other one, so we decided to come over here. You know, sometimes you just gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. I just wrote that, don't fact check me. Here we go, let's do some more fishing. This particular spot used to be weeds six feet high. And they've since come through and knocked all of this down. We now have full rain to walk around the whole thing. So we'll be able to cover a lot of ground and hopefully get some fish. Same amount of rain over here as, as the other spot, but that one over there is super muddy. This one over here, a little bit more clear. Maybe that means lighter colors are gonna be a little more uh, munchable to these fish.
Ew, pond snot. Now I'm starting to attempt adjusting this reel a little bit, opening it up just a little bit, backing off these brakes, backing off the spool tension just a little bit, see if we can get a little more casting distance because I think these fish are sitting out in the middle. They are not laying up against the edges. I think they are out in the middle. Now that it's starting to get a little bit cooler, they're trying to get out there towards some deep water. Random thought for this video. Why is it that in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, every species, no matter where they're from in the galaxy, can speak English perfectly. Anyone ever notice that? Never a line of dialogue to address that? I mean, I know they're just doing it for simplicity of the movie's sake, but come on. You're really trying to tell me that Krill just so happens to be English, as is Titan? I mean, it all just seems a little too convenient, right? Got one. Yes. Stay down. Feels like a good fish. Oh my God, this feels like a good fish. Get up here. Woo, that is a good fish. And I hooked you, ow. God dang, your teeth are sharp. Hooked you through the bottom of the mouth. Two pounder, two and a half maybe. Well, Federation, that's gonna do it. One buff bass on the new lose custom xp speed spool on this orange combo Perfect. very halloweeny but we're past halloween so that's not really important what a good day of fishing out here i promise you it will not be that long again until i post another video i will be back out here a lot over the next couple of days and weeks before it gets too cold as always if i'm doing something wrong please tell me i'm here to learn okay i'm here to get better at fishing if i'm throwing the wrong thing in the wrong situation on the wrong line anything like that tell me in that comment section below I am NOT gonna be offended if you want to correct me I know that only a small percentage of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed to the channel so why not get subscribed it's easy it's free it only takes a second down in the corner of the screen there's a little red subscribe button just boop that little red subscribe button and if you want to receive a heads up a notification the next time I post a video then click that little bell it's right next to it <laughs>